Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sodium Extra mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. In my previous video I did show you guys how to download and how to install Sodium for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. Now version 1.18 of Minecraft Java Edition actually came out quite recently and I did show you guys how to get Sodium for version 1.18 and how to use Sodium and how to tweak its settings to give you some nice FP performance boosts in your game. For those of you who don't know, Sodium is a performance based mod and it works similar to Optifine in terms of being able to double or even improve our FPS in our game. I know that some of you have had some nice experiences with using Sodium. It has actually managed to boost your FPS quite a bit compared to the vanilla game which was only giving you 60 FPS or lower whereas Sodium is able to give us much higher FPS in our game. Now the Sodium extra mod adds more stuff to sodium so by using the sodium extra mod we are able to get closer to the functions and the settings which optifine is actually offering us so by default sodium offers us some nice performance boosts but we can't change a few of the settings that we are able to do with Optifine so by using the Sodium Extra mod we are able to get closer to the options that we are getting with Optifine so I'm going to show you guys today how to download and how to install the Sodium Extra mod I'm also going to do a comparison of the FPS I am getting with Sodium and I'm going to do the comparison of that versus what kind of FPS I can get with the Sodium Extra mod in installed and some of the options are being changed within the Sodium Extra mod for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18. Alright so as you guys can see I am inside my game now and I do have an FPS count on the top right corner there on my screen and it is currently showing me that I am getting close to 1700 FPS. Now I have actually gone ahead and tweaked my settings in Sodium so as you guys can see this is the video settings for Sodium. If you install Sodium this is what your game will look like. I will show you guys later on how to actually download and install Sodium and how to download and install the Sodium Extra mod for 1.18. So as you guys can see I have actually gone ahead and changed the default settings. I am using the minimal and optimized settings which I normally use to try and give myself as much FPS as possible. So I have actually gone ahead and reduced some of these settings. The main changes are in the quality section within the sodium mod as you guys can see over here and I am using six render chunks as you guys can see all right so I am getting close to 1700 FPS so what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually go ahead and have a look at the sodium extra mod I'm going to go to the curse forge website I'm going to download that I'm going to install the sodium extra mod for minecraft 1.18 and then we can see what kind of settings and what kind of options the Sodium Extra mod will give us and if it's actually going to give us some better FPS compared to what I am getting at the moment. Alright so as you guys can see I have already gone ahead and installed Fabric Loader for 1.18. This is Fabric Loader version 0.12.8 and I have done a video on how to download and install Fabric and Forge and how to get mods for Minecraft and I will leave a link to that video in the description. I have also done a video on how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.18 so I will also leave a link to that video in the description below so if you guys haven't already downloaded and installed fabric and sodium do make sure to check out those videos and install them so you can reach this stage which I'm showing you right now if I was to click on this folder icon it will take me to my minecraft main directory and if I go into the mod section you can see that I have got fabric API installed already and I've got the sodium for fabric installed as well this is version 0.4 and as you guys can see this is alpha 5 so this build is actually in alpha stage at the moment so let's go ahead and actually download and install the sodium extra mod so let's go into our internet browser and then we're going to go into the curse forge website and download the sodium extra mod for minecraft 1.18 so let's go to curseforge.com so all you need to do is just type in curseforge.com in your internet browser search bar there and it should load up the curse forge website now click on the minecraft icon and you should be taken to the next page which will automatically bring you to the mod pack section now on this bit click on mods so we can look for the sodium extra mod in this section where it says search start typing in sodium in the search bar there and hit enter on your keyboard now you will see a couple of different search results here 
So if you guys are looking to download Sodium, go ahead and download this version of Sodium as you guys can see and click into Sodium and to download the version for 1.18 what you need to do is click on files and then you need to click on this bit here that says view all and we're going to download the Sodium 1.18 alpha version. If you guys haven't already done that do make sure that you do download the Sodium 1.18 version using this method. Let's go back one level and let's actually get the sodium extra mod so as you guys can see this is the sodium extra mod it says sodium extra by flashy reese and as you guys can see it was updated a few days ago so let's go ahead and click on this and then let's click on the file section making sure that this is for version 1.18 we can actually click on the download so let me go ahead and download this onto my desktop all right so the file has finished downloading you do have to wait five seconds on the curse forge website after you click on the download link and it should give you the option to save to wherever you want to save it so i have put the file on my desktop let me go one level back and let me go to the search results again now i have downloaded sodium extra another thing that i would recommend to download is this mod here which is Reese's sodium options it actually sorts out the sodium extra mod in a nice layout so as you guys can see it makes the layout look like this by default these options are on the top as you guys can see they've now made it into a nice column based layout which makes it much easier to read so let's go ahead and actually download this mod as well and I'll show you guys what the difference is between using this mod and not using this mod but in my opinion it is much easier to use this mod as well alongside sodium extra so let's click on download here making sure that this is for version 1.18 all right so the download has finished for the Rhesus sodium options mod there as well one last thing to mention is that you can get the fabric api which i mentioned so in the search bar again just type in fabric api and download this mod which is the fabric api mod again click on files and click on the download link for fabric api and the version i am using at the moment is 0.44 in the future you might have newer versions let's also get another mod which is called mod menu it actually gives us a mods button on our main menu so we can see what mods we do have installed so let's search for a mod menu in the search bar there and it should actually bring up a result somewhere down here that says mod menu by prospector dev and this is the file we need to get. So let's click on this file, click on the file section, and I'm gonna download this version, which is mod menu version 3.0.04 version 1.18. So I'm gonna now click on download to start the download. All right, so that has actually finished downloading the mod menu mod. I can now close down my internet browser. And as you guys can see, I've got three different jar files here. Let's go back into our Minecraft launcher. Let's click on the folder icon over here again, go inside the mods folder, as you guys can see, I've already got Fabric API downloaded and installed inside the mods folder. And I've got the Sodium for Fabric for version 1.18. Now we can just highlight all of the extra files and drag them inside the mods folder. So you should have Fabric API, Sodium, Sodium Extra Mod, and then the Rhesus Sodium Options Mod as well, and Mod Menu inside your mods folder so this is what i would install let's go ahead and close this down and let's go back inside our launcher and now we can launch the fabric loader for 1.18 let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see the game has now loaded up and i am able to see a mod spot in here let's maximize this window as you guys can see i do have a mod spot in here showing this is thanks to a mod menu let's quickly click on this filter icon here and make sure the libraries are shown like so and now if i go down into sodium i can see that i've got Reese's sodium options installed and i've got the sodium extra mod installed as well under the sodium mod section here so the mod menu mod is really good it shows you all of your installed mods if you are wondering what mods you have installed you can quickly come into the mod section from the main menu all right let's click on options and go to video settings and as you guys can see everything looks nicely laid out we have all of the options on the left hand side here all of the sub menus and we can click into them and change the option as you guys can see we've, they've now added more stuff to this so by default with sodium we only had the general quality performance and advanced menus here but now thanks to sodium extra we've got animations particles details render and extras let me quickly show you guys what the Reese's 
sodium options mod does as well so let me go ahead and disable that mod and reload the game just to show you guys what the difference is let me go ahead and just remove this mod out of the mods folder like so and then let's relaunch the game just so i can show you guys the difference between using that mod compared to not using it and as you guys can see everything is now laid out horizontally so as you guys can see the gui scale is actually set to auto which is actually four so if i was to select 4x for the gui scale and apply this is what it would look like and you can see that it is actually overlapping on this bit here and i can't actually see the extra options like so so i would have to go into my gui scale and reduce it to something like three which would then allow me to see these options. As you guys can see, I can now see the extras and the render and the details tabs here at the top there. So this is why I would recommend to actually install Rhesus Sodium options because it does actually make all of these menu items in a nice column-based layout for us to use. So let me go ahead and put that mods file back inside the mods folder and then relaunch the game again. All right, and now if I go back into my video settings, you guys can see that everything does look nicely laid out. Let me change the GUI back to the auto mode there, and I don't have to worry about the layout or the submenu items overlapping on the right hand side on the top there because they are on the left hand side now. Let me go back into the single player and log in and have a look at what kind of FPS I can now get inside my game. Let me go ahead and enable fraps as well. So we can see what kind of FPS it is giving me. All right, so I'm getting close to 1600, 1700 FPS, which I was getting before. However, I haven't actually changed anything within the Sodium Extra mod yet. So let me go back into my options. Let me click on video settings. And now we can go ahead and start changing stuff and see if we can get any more performance boosts within our game. So I'm going to click on animations and similar to Optifine, we can go ahead and disable our animations as well. So let me go ahead and disable all of the animations. We can do the same for particles as well. So as you guys can see, you could actually tick and untick individual items within this menu if you wanted to do that. But I'm going to untick the all button here. So it's going to get rid of the all of the particles inside the game. Let me click on details and untick all of these options as well. Let me click on render. Let me go ahead and change the fog setting there to one chunk. And let me just untick all of these other items like so. And in the extras bit, we can go ahead and prevent shaders from loading as well. You can also show your FPS and your coordinates as well by ticking these two boxes like so. Let me click on apply and then done. And now let's go back inside our game. So as you guys can see, I was getting 1600 and something or 1700 fps there but now i am getting 1800 so let me go ahead and make my game full screen mode and as you guys can see i'm now getting 1940 fps whereas with sodium it was something like 1820 fps so i have got a substantial fps boost there just by using those few settings there and doing a few tweaks with sodium extra options as well all right, so as you guys can see, I am actually flying around in this world here. And as you guys can see, the textures are popping up in the background there. We can see the terrain loading up and it does look like the textures are popping in there as I approach them and I get nearer them. I am actually running this on the render distance of 16, as you guys can see. And I have actually gone ahead and turned the fog option to off. Now, if I was to actually change the fog options and change it to 10 chunks, as you guys can see, it does give us a nice, smoother look there. So as you guys can see, instead of the textures looking like they're popping in or they're loading in different sorts of chunks, we can see that we do have a nice, smoother type of a transition there. As you guys can see, it is loading the other stuff there in the background however because of the fog it is making it look like it's a much smoother and it's not looking rough or loading it in different chunks and looking like textures are popping in so that is another useful ability we do have if you guys are looking to mess around with the fog settings and it's all thanks to the option here in the render section in sodium extra 
you guys can select default and you guys can play around with how many chunks you want the fog distance to be or you can go ahead and turn it off as well let's go ahead and leave that on 10 chunks and leave the render distance to 16 as you guys can see it does give us that nice smoother transition hopefully you guys have found this video useful and if you guys have been wondering how to get more fps using sodium and how to get more fps using sodium extra and how to download and install sodium extra for minecraft the java edition version 1.18 hopefully you would have found this video useful if you did find the video useful please do give us a like if you have any comments or queries about how to use sodium extra or how to use sodium in minecraft java version 1.18 or if you guys are having problems in using sodium extra for version 1.18 then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out and also do let me know what kind of FPS you guys are getting with Sodium and Sodium Extra in your game. What kind of FPS boost you are able to achieve by using Sodium Mod and the Sodium Extra Mod for 1.18. And also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.